How's it going everybody? Ecom Tommy or another video coming at you guys. And this video is going to be the first video of my SKU Grid playlist that I told you guys I was going to put together. So please be sure to watch this entire video. You will learn a lot about SKU Grid in the next videos. I'm going to really break down how to do everything on SKU Grid. So this first video is all about why you should use SKU Grid. There's a lot of reasons why. I broke it down to the best five reasons and I'm going to list them off right now and then I'm going to go in and explain each one individually on SKU Grid just to show you guys proof as to what my points are. So, number one, the main reason to use SKU Grid is because it saves you time. Nobody should be going and checking their listings. You know, even if you have 100, 200 listings, nobody should be checking them all the time, you know, nonstop by hand. And if you're being told to use a virtual assistant to check your items, it makes absolutely no sense because virtual assistants cost money, a lot more money than SKU Grid does. So, I mean, VAs really aren't that expensive, but I know a lot of people are on a tight budget when they first start eBay drop shipping, and SKU Grid is dirt cheap. It's literally if you're spending more than $15 a month, you're doing something wrong. I'm going to tell you that right now. So it's extremely cheap and it saves you time. So that was basically one and two. Nobody should be checking their items by hand. It really doesn't make any sense. You don't have to have a thousand plus, two thousand items on your store anymore. But, you know, even checking a hundred, even over 50 items, it, it's just tedious and there's really no need to, to do it by yourself or if you have a VA doing it. Number three, there's no API connection. There's multiple ways to do this with SKU Grid. There's four different types of repricing that SKU Grid does offer. And basically, two of them are going to be no, non-API connections. So what is the API? I forget what API stands for, but basically, you do not want to be connecting anything into eBay's API that's going to automatically reprice your items based off changes at a retailer. That has been explained time and time again by eBay. It's in their terms and conditions. They are clearly flagging drop shippers for using API-related software, so you want to steer clear of it. A lot of people are saying, well, just use no software, or you know, it, it's there's no point in using no software if you can use non-API-related software you know, have your store still running very easily, smoothly, a lot easier than if you're doing it all by yourself and still not getting in trouble. There's no point in not using it. And like I said, it's extremely cheap and it's gonna save you a ton of time. <clears throat> Number four, there is over 800 plus suppliers. Not all of them are US-based suppliers, but a lot of them are. I believe it's over 400 of the items are US-based suppliers. I know the majority of my following here on YouTube is a US citizen or is selling on eBay dot com so you're gonna have a ton of suppliers to choose from pick and choose from and if you can look at the list which i'll show you in a second of what the suppliers are and not find suppliers or you know make up an excuse that you can't find any suppliers then you're just lying to yourself that's a limiting belief there's literally over 400 of them if you can't find something i mean you must not even be looking at the page and number five there's new features added constantly they are constantly getting into new updates new changes different marketplaces there's really no other software out there that does ebay drop shipping does amazon drop shipping you know i just connected skew grid to my amazon store for a specific supplier you know it does everything they have shopify they have all sorts of different things they're coming out with etsy and i'm going to show you that as well so it's pretty much a one-stop place for everything that you want retail arbitrage drop shipping related so i'm going to get out of the powerpoint and we're going to go into actual like skew grid's actual website here so here we go exit and so first off here is basically their repricing options. So I wanted to go into their prices actually. So here's the subscriptions. I had it brought up, but so here's the subscription. If you go into SKU Grid, which if you do not have SKU Grid yet, there is one little uh, disclaimer. I do have a affiliate link down below that after the free trial, the seven day free trial, I believe it is, you will get 20,000 free credits, which will last you probably about a month when you first start. You can use it if you want. If you don't want to use it, it's, it's, it's up to you. I, I'm really, I'm just here to offer it to you guys to help you guys out. So here's the subscriptions, and I don't like to follow any of these when you click on subscriptions to the left-hand side. I literally just go over to where it says Guru right here, and you click OK, and you see that it's a recurring payment of $15 a month for 50,000 credits. So I'm sure you guys don't understand what credits are yet if you are a beginner to SKU Grid, if you don't know anything about SKU Grid. But basically a credit is for, you know, a change. Any change that happens if you're repricing an item once, you know, if you're putting an item in and out of stock. If 50,000 is a lot of credits, I'm gonna tell you that right now. There was one time back a few months ago when I bought like 250,000 credits right here, the $30 one, and like two and a half months later, I literally still had like 80,000 credits left. So 
you know, it, you're not going to use 50,000 credits. Even 20,000 for free through my affiliate link will probably last you one to two months if you're a beginner and you don't have a lot of items up on your store. So as I said, that goes in, you know, with the fact that it's extremely cheap. It's $15 a month. There's no other program out there that is that cheap. It's wildly inexpensive. And if you're having a virtual assistant, virtual assistants are always touted as being extremely cheap as well, which I also do agree with. But, you know, if your VA is, you know, working full time for you about $200, $250 a month, clearly a lot more than $15 a month for a program that can do the same exact thing and probably a lot better. So what else is there? Like I said, there's the non API related just repricing solutions. So if you go to this link, I'll add it down below in the description. There is four different ways that it can reprice. You can manually use the file exchange, which is based. It's the most manual version of it. I, I don't do that personally. Number two is the Chrome extension, which is this one right here. I don't wanna click on it because it does give away sensitive information and I don't wanna blur anything in this video. So basically the Chrome extension is the way to go. It's gonna go through the file exchange, which is a non-API related activity on eBay. And eBay clearly talks about the file exchange many times on their website about how it is the way to bulk make changes to your store. There's huge sellers. There's huge retailers on eBay that have thousands and thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of items. Big, huge, legitimate companies that sell on eBay. There's no way they're going in there and having virtual assistants or their workers change their prices every single day or change these things. It doesn't happen. They're using the file exchange and everybody knows that. It, it's not a, it, that's not a valid, legitimate argument that you, know, you can't use the file exchange at all because it is put in place by eBay in order to make large changes to your store. And you guys can look that up. I'll add it in the description below, you know, the terms of service or the description about the file exchange. So thirdly, let's get into the suppliers. So here we are. If you go into your SKU grid and then you click suppliers, you can also find it from the main website, but uh, I like the way it's broken down better here. It's broken down by like uh, country. So there's one for South Africa, a, a, a wild one, but you know they have something. They have stuff from all these other different countries as well. So there's United States, and like I said, if you're looking at this list right here and you cannot find one supplier, and I teach inside of my course how to find suppliers that are good. I even have a free YouTube video on it, and I'll link that up above. I don't know which way to point that way, this way. So you know th there's endless amounts of suppliers here. I believe there is over 400 U.S. based suppliers. So if you cannot, this is all the U.S. If you cannot find something here. You're, you're, you must have your eyes closed is what I'm trying to say. There's no way you can't find a supplier here. You know, there's a typical Walmart, Home Depot, Amazon. Everybody knows that. But there's so many. I give the, my course students 20 inside of the course, 20 suppliers, I believe, for the eBay dropshipping course. But, you know, there's, there's 400 here. There's ones that I haven't even looked at. There's ones I've never even heard of. And I'm sure there's great ones out there that I don't even know exist. So, I mean, the world's your oyster here. There is a ton of opportunity here. And everybody knows, or most people know, that if you go out there and you do things that are different from the regular with anything in life, don't. If you're not doing, you know, Walmart, or if you're not doing Home Depot or Amazon, you're gonna find more success, and it's gonna be easier to make more sales and money and profit on the front end. So, you know, here's the list of the U.S.-based suppliers. Here's the U.K.-based suppliers. There's tons of them. There's a ton for the U.K., uh, a couple for the Netherlands, I guess, Malaysia, Mexico, Italy, France, Europe, Spain, Germany. There's ones I didn't even know existed on here. Canada, for the Canadians out there, Australia for the Australians out there. You know, there is a lot of suppliers out there. So if you guys are saying that you can't find suppliers, then that's just, you know, limiting belief on your part. So lastly, there is SKU Grid. Like I said, they are always making changes and they're constantly ahead there. It's a one-stop shop. You really don't need anything else. They do all Amazon marketplaces, all eBay marketplaces. They do Shopify stores, WooCommerce stores, Bonanza. I don't even know how to do WooCommerce or Bonanza. I'm not even going to try to get into it. But coming soon, you know, they have Etsy, they have Big Commerce, they have Jet.com. So they're, it's pretty big time stuff going on here. I don't think there's very many other software out there. Maybe one that I can think of that even does eBay and Amazon. But, you know, Skewgrid does everything. It's literally a one-stop shop. Like I've said, you can have it set up so your Shopify store import ports into Amazon and eBay. There's tons of crazy things you can do. And I know this is a video on, you know, things for the beginners, but this is just looking forward into the future for you. As it says right here, supported stores is over 470 US-based stores, I guess. So I was right on par with around 400. UK, there's 150. German, 20 plus, And Australian, 18 plus. So, you know, there's a lot. There's tons of different functions that they have here. This is a huge, wild array of just everything that they do there's tons more than just skew grid there's automatic listers skew fetch and all sorts of other things like that and i'll be going into more depth and detail on that in the future videos in this playlist so if you guys did like this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up 
Please make sure to add it to your favorites or to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can see the rest of the videos that are coming along along this playlist because I do think that you guys are going to get a huge benefit out of it and I do believe that SkewGrid is the one repricing tool that is going to outlast every single other one and it is the one to be using in 2019 and forward. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As I said, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell notification and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you guys.